your belly button might have served as your mouth in the womb, but it doesn't do much for you now. It's a storage facility for lint, dead skin, sweat, and if you're cool, maybe even a piercing. Although your belly button may not have a lot of biological uses, it certainly does not mean that it's any less important. This means that any pain in your belly button can point to a more serious underlying problem, and in today's video, we'll tell you what the pain in your belly button means. From hernia, ulcers, indigestion, constipation, to food allergies and more. Watch until the end to learn about all of them. Hernia is a tear in the abdominal tissue and occurs when you lift heavy weight. Lifting heavy objects directly puts pressure on your navel and abdomen, which is the reason for a hernia. On pressing the belly button, the abdominal hernia may go back into place, but with slight pain. The intensity of pain may vary. Hernia does not go away on its own. You need surgery to treat a hernia. Number two, stomach ulcers. Your stomach produces acid to help digest and process food. When the amount of acid increases in the stomach, it erupts out of the lining and results in stomach ulcers. These ulcers cause severe pain in the abdomen and the belly button. There may be internal bleeding due if ulcers are not treated. To treat belly button pain in this case, take care of stomach ulcers first. Enjoying this list so far? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more good stuff coming up. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this and hit the bell icon so you're always up to date. Number three, inflammation. Inflammatory causes of pain around the belly button may be related to a couple things. The first one can be due to an infection. Infection or inflammation of the organs in the lower abdomen can cause pain. The appendix is a very common cause as it begins in the belly button and travels into the lower right abdomen. Symptoms can also occur when your urinary tract becomes infected. The second cause can be due to an autoimmune condition. The condition primarily affects your gastrointestinal tract, which can result in pain in your belly button and other symptoms. Number four, small intestine obstruction. A blockage in the small intestine can be caused by scar tissue, cancer, or hernias. This can result in symptoms such as cramping and constipation in addition to pain around the belly button. Number five, indigestion. While gas is typically felt more in the upper abdomen all the way up to the shoulders, indigestion is most often felt above the belly button. However, the food you eat can also cause discomfort and pain anywhere in your abdomen, as well as a full or nauseous feeling that lasts for a few hours. Fatty foods, fried foods, and spicy foods are the most common indigestion triggers. Anything with fat in it takes longer to digest, so it sits in the stomach for longer periods. Even if you have fish, if it's fried in too much oil, that counts. Number six. Gallstones. Gallstones occur when small, hard deposits that are usually made of cholesterol build up in the gallbladder. It's the organ that holds digestive juices known as bile. You may develop just one gallstone, or you may develop many. They can range in size from poppy seed to golf ball. About 10 to 15% of Americans get gallstones, and 90% don't even know they have them since they rarely lead to complications. Sometimes, however, gallstones get lodged in the duct and cause a blockage, resulting in abdominal pain. The most common symptom is sudden, intensifying pain in the center of your abdomen, just below your breastbone. However, it's hard to localize pain, which is why you might experience what feels like belly button pain when you're passing a gallstone, cramping, and in some cases, constant pain lasts for eight to nine hours until the gallstones pass. Number seven, appendicitis. The appendix is a teeny organ located where the big and small intestines meet. About one out of every thousand Americans is affected by appendicitis or inflammation of the appendix. And the first symptom is often pain around the belly button. Typically, appendicitis starts as more of a severe pain in the middle of the stomach. Within hours, it makes its way to the right lower quadrant of the abdomen. Appendicitis requires immediate medical attention. If your appendix ruptures, which can occur within 48 to 72 hours after symptoms start, the resulting infection can be life-threatening. Number eight. Crohn's disease. An inflammatory bowel disease that usually affects your small intestine or colon, Crohn's disease can cause pain behind the belly button. It can feel like anything from a dull ache to a sharp, cramping pain that typically occurs 20 to 30 minutes after eating. But a Crohn's diagnosis is never made solely on the presence of abdominal pain. You need another symptom, which can include severe diarrhea, fatigue, and weight loss. The cause of Crohn's disease is unknown, but a malfunctioning immune system and a family history likely play a role. Over 1 million people in the U.S. have Crohn's disease, and the most common age is 18 to 24 but you can get it at any age. Complications from Crohn's disease can include malnutrition, ulcers, and bowel obstruction. Number nine, acute pancreatitis. 
Pancreatitis can cause belly button pain in some cases. Pancreatitis is an inflammation of your pancreas. Acute pancreatitis can come on suddenly and can be caused by various things, including alcohol, infection, medications, and gallstones. In addition to slowly worsening abdominal pain, symptoms of pancreatitis can include nausea or vomiting, fever, an increase in heart rate. A mild case of pancreatitis can be treated with bowel rest, intravenous or IV fluids, and pain medication. Number 10, injury or muscle pain. If there's any injury or if you're lifting weight or exercise in the wrong way, all this can lead to belly button pain. Sometimes while trying to clean it, there are chances that you poke in more than necessary. Even muscle pain or injury pain in the belly button takes time to heal. Number 11, pregnancy. Mild belly button pain is no cause for concern, but women who are experiencing any significant and ongoing discomfort and pain should get it looked at. An umbilical hernia during pregnancy is another possible reason for belly button pain in pregnancy. However, these types of hernias are rare and affect women who are pregnant with multiples or who are severely obese and pregnant. Symptoms of an umbilical hernia include a bulge near the belly button, swelling around the belly button, pain in or around the belly button, nausea and vomiting. Number 12, urinary tract infection. A urinary tract infection can cause pain around your belly button or in the middle of your abdomen. It may also cause a burning sensation while passing urine. Other symptoms of UTI include strong smell while urinating, cloudy urine, and yellow or red colored urine. Number 13, constipation. Constipation is a very common cause of belly button pain. This is a problem that most of us might have gone through at some point or another in our lives. If you're having three or less than three bowel movements in a week, then it's a sign that you're probably constipated. It lasts for a short period of time and it's not serious most of the time. Number 14, food allergies. Most food allergies are caused by one of eight main allergens. These are wheat, soy, milk, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish. Allergic reactions can include symptoms like pain around the belly button, vomiting or stomach cramps, shortness of breath, dizziness, or feeling faint, and more. Usually people experience an allergic reaction to foods within two hours of consumption. Treatment for food allergies involves avoiding the food that you're allergic to. Number 15, microbial infections. Bacterial infections can cause pain around the belly button. This is normally felt when the umbilicus is touched. Such infections can cause abdominal swelling and soreness. If you experience belly button pain accompanied by nausea, vomiting, or flu-like symptoms, the pain is likely caused by microbial infection. Getting a belly button piercing may increase your chances of microbial infection, especially if it was done under unhygienic conditions. Number 16, pain after surgery. It's not uncommon to feel pain around the belly button after an abdominal surgery. There are a couple of reasons why the belly button hurts. The first is the pain around the incision. If the surgery was recent, it's normal for the incision to hurt a bit. But if it's been weeks since your surgery and you still feel pain around the belly button, the incision could be infected. This can become very serious if it isn't checked as soon as possible. According to studies, about 1 to 3% of surgical incisions become infected. The pain could also be coming from the part of the body that was operated on. A bit of pain is normal after surgery. However, if the pain is severe and constant, it may be due to surgical complications. Have you ever experienced belly button pain? What are the reasons that it turned out to be? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.